ਪਿਛਲੇ ਕੁਝ ਸਾਲਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਮੌਜੂਦਾ ਹਾਲਾਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਦਿਆਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਨੌਜਵਾਨਾਂ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਨੂੰਨੀ ਅਤੇ ਗੈਰ ਕਾਨੂੰਨੀ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਭਾਰਤ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਿਕਲਣ ਲਈ ਹਰ ਤਰੀਕਾ ਵਰਤਿਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਹਜ਼ਾਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿੱਖ ਨੌਜਵਾਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਕੇ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲ ਅਸਾਇਲਮ ਲਈ ਹੈ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਸਾਲ ਟੈਕਸਾਸ ਦੀ ਐਲ ਪਾਸੋ ਡਿਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਜ਼ਰਬੰਦ ਸੈਂਕੜਿਆਂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਨੌਜਵਾਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਡਿਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਭਾਰਤੀ ਕੌਂਸਲੇਟ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਗੈਰ ਕਾਨੂੰਨੀ ਕਾਰਵਾਈ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬਾਅਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਰਿਹਾਈ ਦਾ ਕਾਰਨ ਬਣੀ ਅਤੇ ਇਹ ਖਬਰ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੁਰਖੀਆਂ ਬਣੀ ਰਹੀ ਉਸੇ ਤਰਜ ਤੇ ਬੀਤੇ ਦਿਨੀ ਇੱਕ ਕੇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੇ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੂੰ ਟੈਕਸਾਸ ਦੀ ਅਦਾਲਤ ਨੇ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲ ਅਸਾਇਲਮ ਗ੍ਰਾਂਟ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕੇਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਅਤੇ ਐਲ ਪਾਸੋ ਵਰਗੇ ਹੋਰ ਕੇਸਾਂ ਸੰਬੰਧੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਟਾਰਨੀ ਜੌਨ ਲੋਇਟ ਫੋਨ ਲਾਈਨ ਤੇ ਜੁੜ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਹ ਕੇਸ ਜਿੱਤਿਆ ਅਤੇ ਐਲ ਪਾਸੋ ਸਮੇਤ ਹੋਰ ਕੇਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਪੈਰਵਾਈ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਹੈਲੋ ਜੌਨ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਜੋਇਨਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਯਾ ਜੌਨ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਪਰਟਿਕੂਲਰ ਕੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਕੰਡਲੀ ਹਾਊ ਇਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਕੇਸ ਵਿਕਟਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਕੰਪੈਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਐਲ ਪਾਸੋ ਡਿਟੇਨੀਸ ਕੇਸ ਹਾਊ ਇਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਕੇਸ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਫਰਮ ਥੈਟ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਵਿਦ ਥਿਸ ਪਰਟਿਕੂਲਰ ਕੇਸ ਯਾ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਕੇਸ ਮਾਈ ਕਲਾਇੰਟ ਵਾਸ ਅਰੈਸਟਡ ਐਟ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਕ੍ਰੋਸਿੰਗ ਦ ਰੀਵਰ ਗ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਰਿਵਰ ਇਨ ਫਾਰ ਸਾਊਥ ਟੈਕਸਸ ਓਕੇ ਹੀ ਟੋਲਡ ਦੀ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫੀਸਰਸ ਥੈਟ ਹੀ ਵਾਂਟਡ ਟੂ ਅਪਲਾਈ ਫੋਰ ਅਸਾਈਲਮ ਯਾ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਅਰੈਸਟਡ ਟੇਕਨ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਕਸਟਡੀ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਅ ਹਿਊਜ ਡਿਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਲੋਸ ਫਰੈਸਨੋਸ ਟੈਕਸਸ ਓਕੇ ਅਮ ਹੀ wanted to present his asylum case based on the fact that he had been persecuted because he was an active member of the Mon party in the area in the Punjab where he was from. Okay. Um which is very much like many many more asylum claims. Yeah. However, this individual was different. He was not just a very low level worker in the Mon party. He was more of a supervisory level. Okay. And so he he had intimate knowledge of the workings of the Mon party. Now, the thing that was interesting about this is that his claim was that the police were controlled by the Bidal party, the majority party where he lived. Mm-hmm. And as a result, um he could not utilize the police after he had been beaten up three or four times by goons from the uh Bidal party. Okay. The police refused to take the complaint. They threatened to arrest his family and basically told him to get out or go to jail. His family then sent him to Delhi where okay. members of the Badal party found him after he had been there for a few weeks. And so at that point they decided to send him to the United States. Okay. Now, this case is similar and different from the one in El Paso. Hmm. In El Paso, the applicants all made claims because they were members of the Mon party. Yeah. But in El Paso, um every single case was denied. All 60 people who applied were denied. Now, I was fortunate to get all those cases reopened in El Paso. Okay. But the difference between the El Paso cases, this judge that was uh, hearing the case from Los Fresnos rejected the idea that the establishment of Khalistan is a terrorist act. In fact, his, when my client started to speak about Khalistan, the judge regarded it as a political just a political party like the Republican or the Democratic party. It's just a party for change in India. Okay. He did not accept the proposition that the Mon party was a terrorist party. He rejected that completely. Okay. And he also rejected the fact that the mere desire to establish a homeland in Khalistan is a terrorist act or the fact that he might believe that even violence to establish it as long as it was a belief and not an act was okay under our US immigration law. Hmm. Now, USCIS wants to brand everybody in the Mon party as a possible terrorist. In El Paso, in the case if you spend a lot of time arguing that mere membership is not uh is, the mon party is not a terrorist organization okay now in this case in most friends know that issue never even came up they never even suggested the mon party was anything other than an opposition political party so the judge wasn't prejudiced 
Okay. So the judge was able to make a decision based on the evidence in front of him, not the false and misleading statements that the government used to attribute terroristic uh, characteristics to the Mon Party and people who believe in Taliban. That's a huge difference. Yeah. I've never been to one trial where the judge simply accepted the existence of the Mon Party as a valid political party, and at this point in time, an opposition party in the Punjab. And okay. that's why this case is so important. And wh uh, what about their ideology, sir? Or what about Khalistan? Well, he viewed the desire to uh, have Khalistan, and in the testimony, my client explained what Khalistan was and why it was, why it was so important. He just viewed it as an ancestral homeland desire by the, by the members of the Mon Party and the other political parties in the Punjab. Okay. He did not view it in any way as a, a threat to U.S. law, uh, nor, nor was he concerned uh, about what, what the Indians would think about the establishment of Khalistan. He, he seems to be taking the position that belief in the establishment of Khalistan is a personally held belief and should not be a political belief held against somebody. Okay. Uh, and John, what is the overall situation of the political asylum cases of Sikhs in Texas? Well, it's pretty grim. I mean, the denial rate is approximately 85 or 90 percent. Oh. The problem is there's large numbers of people who are being smuggled and are given scripts by the smugglers, and they memorize the scripts. So when they tell their story, they almost all sound identical. Okay. And if they all are identical, it's very hard for a judge to tell who's telling the truth and who's not. Yeah. Now, in my client's case, it was different. He was a supervisor. He was a low-level supervisor in the party, not a low-level party worker who hangs up posters or puts the chairs out for a, a political meeting or something like that. He was a higher-up. And that is different than mo almost all the cases that I've seen. Okay. Uh, thanks, uh, thank you, John. Thanks a lot for your time. We really appreciate it's, that. It's my pleasure, and I'm here for you anytime. Thank you. Thank you, John.